their fans' excitement has grown right along with them. Yeah, the energy in this place is amazing, Clark. I mean, this is one of the toughest buildings in the NBA to play in right now because of just how fired up these fans have become during this streak. So the opening lineup for the Heat presented by State Farm. Big three out there, Wade, LeBron, and Bosch at the two, three, and four. Chalmers is out there with Chris Anderson. And for the Lakers. Oh, oh how wow. about that basketball that fan? Beautiful. Wow. Call it hang time and bang time. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> you got to just shake your head on that one. Well, it's kind of scary when you play against Miami. I mean, that talent it is so overwhelming. So what a lot of teams try to do is zone them, just to cut down on the dribble penetration and force Miami to take outside shots. And finished off by LeBron. Very few players have his explosiveness. I mean, man, can he ever fly to get to that rim? Shots good by Kobe. And his skills go well beyond just his scoring goal. They really can oh, throw that oh. ball. Man, that was unreal. Mark it up. Now that was pretty. That was just a nice looking reverse jam right there. Use the rim, Clark, to protect the ball, I think, too, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. did a nice job with it. Yeah, no question, Kevin. Great awareness and terrific finish. I'll tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. Boy, it is absolutely remarkable how Steve Nash has been able to maintain his athleticism at his age. I mean, I think it's a testament to great dedication to conditioning and nutrition. He actually says that he's quicker now than he was as a rookie back in 96, and I don't find that hard to believe because he was heavier. He transformed his whole body from the time he came into the league until now. He's had to because of the back issue and other things. Mm -hmm. LeBron, no luck. Lakers have gone 4-5 or five from the field so far. And Steve Nash, not the run and jump athlete, Steve, uh, we, we, we so often think of in the NBA, but it's his balance and his agility, and when you were running the Phoenix Suns, you saw it firsthand. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't think there was a player in the league with better core strength uh, than Steve Nash. Just the balance, the uh, conditioning. He worked so hard constantly on his uh, game and on his body. It's one of the reasons why he's been able to stand the test of time and be so good for such a long period of time. And good on the basket. Book it. And that's now seven points for Kobe Bryant. The kick out to LeBron. Battier. Lots of room. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's now got three assists tonight. Now let's find out what head coach Mike D'Antoni had to say to our Doris Burke. Doris? We talked about their defensive game plan, and he said, for Dwayne Wade, you've got to make him a jump shooter and not fight for his own. Space now, uh, and he's so rangy with his athleticism, covers so much ground. A different look for Miami. Haslam comes in for Shane Batty, and it's Allen in for Dwayne Wade. Allen kicks to LeBron. Back to Allen. Stolen by World Peace. Outside Kobe. Got a piece of it. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Cole's got the ball. And finished off by LeBron. It doesn't matter who you're rooting for. You've got to appreciate a reverse throwdown like that. Clark, those kinds of dunks are how reputations are built. Well, he's already got a pretty good one, too, Kevin. It's only going to get better with plays like that. Talk about Howard's ability to cover ground. His size, Clark. Oh, oh look out, man! Already oh, shaking. Fierce, they're athletic, man. and they're unafraid of big moments. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Wait against Kobe. He's going to have to be very careful, guys, because that's his fourth foul now. So we'll see how he responds. That's and of course, you mentioned the fiery competitors, Wade and Kobe Bryant. You remember the hard foul Wade gave Bryant Clark in that All Star game last season? Yeah, it broke Kobe's nose and gave him a minor concussion, and we know it was an accident. Kobe shrugged it off as part of the price of being between the lines, and Wade apologized. That's his first. And there's the call on Howard. That is his first foul of the game. Nash against Wade. Passes it to Bosch. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. There was no question about it. He was going to finish that one off. 
Lakers trail by 16. Nash, the pass to Kobe. Kobe draws the double. The pass to Howard. Back to Kobe. Fires for three. Again, the miss by Kobe. And you know, a lot of people aren't aware of this, but Eric Spolster's father was once the general manager of the Portland Trailblazers. And uh, Eric went on to play at the University of Portland, had a nice career there before hooking on with the Miami Heat. He's been with the organization for a long time. And for Coach Spolster, Steve, as you mentioned, family ties in the business of basketball. He's been around it since he was a little guy. Yeah, he knew relatively early on in his life that he wanted to stay around the game. You know, after college, he played a, a couple of seasons professionally in Germany and then ended up at, at the age of 25 uh, working as an intern for the Heat as a video coordinator. So quite a climb for Eric Spolster.